Ellie. Ellie, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. So what's going on over there? Give us where you are. Uh, give us the scene, the feeling out in Tampa right now. Everything's great. Um, we're at our headquarters, our company headquarters, uh, Super Bowl week at the Hard Rock Hotel in, uh, in Tampa. Uh, we got in just a couple of days ago, and uh, there's so much excitement going on, um, not only throughout the hotel, but all over Tampa. And, uh, and you know, we're, we're so appreciative for the 13th year to be involved with the Super Bowl uh, with a handful of different uh, pro athletes um, currently playing, some alumni that are playing. Um, some of the events that uh, we were able to pull off socially distant and outdoors here in Florida, uh, thanks to, you know, all those folks in the higher ups that were uh, able to do that. And, uh, and this is what we're doing. We're excited. It's great to be here. So give us the, give us the scene over there with COVID. What is, 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 does it still have the same excitement as in the past? Are people more um, reserved? What, how do you see the Super Bowl now vis-a-vis -vis what it was in the past? So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the number one difference is the amount of activity that's actually going on, uh, both in the corporate world um, for the brands and corporations that are usually coming down and uh, companies that send their employees and clients to the Super Bowl for incentive programs, um, et cetera. But, um, you know, it, it, this Super Bowl is just amazing. It's the first time in history that the host team is actually uh, hosting um, the Super Bowl and, and, and they're in the Super Bowl. So that, you know, for the, the city of Tampa, that's a win-win um, wherever you go. I mean, the buzz yeah. is all over the place. Um, we, the events that um, we already put on and the events that are going to go on throughout the weekend are all obviously social distance, uh, COVID precautions, CDC guidelines, et cetera. Um, and, you know, people will buy to them. Um, I, I think that I think that, you know, it's great opportunity for, for the sport and for NFL and for the history of, uh, of the game. You know, you know you, you're an individual uh, who gets to spend a lot of time around celebrities and athletes. And so um, you probably are able to opine on the, what's really going on, right? We get to see athletes sometimes when they got their uniforms on, when they're performing on a field. We don't really know them. We don't see them. We don't see them behind the scenes. And you do. Give us a little bit, if you can. I'm going to ask two different questions. I'll ask them one at a time, but I want to get your perspective on the good and the bad. You know, like, give us, if you can, what you've learned about some of the habits or some of the traits of successful individuals that have reached a certain level of professionalism in their lives. Are there traits that you, we can take away and apply to our lives? The answer is yes. And the answer is, you know, everyone is, is an individual. You're talking about a professional athlete, um, you know, who becomes a champion for se. Um, you, it, the common denominator is, is that they have determination and will. They want to really, really succeed in their craft. Um, a lot of sacrifice. They put sacrifice into, into their lives, into their bodies, into their families. Um, there's really no, no second place for them. They really kind of, you know, just want to succeed and go to the next level. Um, I also think that, you know, it's not about only the field or the court, you know, we'll talk about the field now with NFL and the court with, you know, the NBA. Um, but you have to be a great person, you know, off the field and off the court as, as well. And, and that translates into what kind of athlete you are on the field as well. So I think that uh, that's super important to, to keep in mind. It's funny how, you know, sometimes you see people and when they're in the spotlight, they are, um, they're one way and then behind the scenes, they're another way. Do you find that as well, that uh, you're constantly disappointed by some people who you thought would be more professional, but, you know, sort of behind the scenes, you, you see their true colors? Yeah. Uh, dealing with, with pro athletes and celebrities on a regular basis, you really see, you know, true colors. And there are folks that um, first of all, they're human beings. Um, it, it's not, I would never want to be in, in their shoes, but you know, what we can do to help them, um, in the spotlight and at a spotlight within our PR initiatives that, that, that we work on, um, some, some of them are different and some of them are the same. Um, you know, a guy like Michael Jordan, right. Is the top of the world. Um, you know, if, if someone were to go up to him and ask him for an autograph, he'd probably say no. Right. And that would disappoint a fan or a kid that looks up to 
um, a guy like Michael Jordan, whereas someone else can be the opposite. You know, Magic Johnson is the nicest guy in the world, and someone goes up to him and wants to take a picture or an autograph, he's thrilled to do that. Um, so there are guys that, that are definitely different on and off the field and on and off camera. Amazing. Uh, do you have any one particular athlete that you, you, can, you, you think that you can think about that you learn something specific from um, that you respect and, and what'd you learn from him? I have an interesting one. Uh, you know, we work with Odell Beckham Jr. And he doesn't have the greatest rap, you know, within media and within, uh, you know, the sports world and fans in general. But he happens to be one of the most genuine, real pro athletes and individuals uh, more off the field than than on the field. Um, wow. I would call him a mensch. You know, I would go as far as to say that he is a mensch with what I've seen him do. Um, you know, in the nonprofit world with kids at risk um, and just dealing with day to day people that are, are not involved in sports. So he's, a, he's actually one uh, good example that that I would give. Wow. And he's, he's a, for those who aren't familiar who he is, he was a giant. Now he's a Cleveland Brown. So he's got some good street cred in terms of where he is. A uh, last question, Ellie, how do, how do people find you? Um, you know, in case people want to use your services to book talent, to, to grow their brands. It's, it's a great opportunity for people that may not know that this is available to them. So yeah. give us a, like, a, where do people go? How can people reach you? Uh, super. Um, I'm very easy to find. It's just Ellie Lunzer on Instagram. Uh, we have a website, Ellie Lunzer Productions, and, uh, and an email, events at Ellie Lunzer Productions. And there you go. Yeah. And we got you actually, uh, we have uh, your flyer on our, our site right now and you can there really check go. it out. I know Ellie for a very long time and it's, it's really a, a unique way uh, to, to promote your brands and your company. So you should definitely check them out. Ellie, thanks so much for what you did for us this, this show and, and thanks okay. for what you're doing. Continue being you. Uh, some of the stuff that we didn't get to cover here is um, your faith and how you carry it everywhere you go. And um, you know, I was talking to, our good friend Abe Schoenfeld, and he was telling me that you guys are tweeting and texting each other, like, how can I pray Mincha and what can I do for Shabbos? And, you know, the fact that you guys are wherever you are, you never forget, you know, the one above. So we're, we're honored and, and keep on shining your light in this world, man. Yeah, sh doing Shabbos every time we travel to different award shows and, and, and games is, uh, is actually a highlight, a uh, highlight for myself and, and, and my team to really stop the 24 hours that we're working during the week and and on the weekends and 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 really do it do it right charlie who are you going for kansas city or uh tampa oh we're going kansas city all the way man you we're don't bet against pat mahomes i got you i got you all right we'll see you sunday night yeah <laughs> all right thank you brother we appreciate you being thanks on for having me. Enjoy. See you later. thanks so much for watching for more content like and subscribe and be sure to tune in live every thursday at 8 p.m eastern at theshabbatshow.com or right here on YouTube.